Welcome to the VS Code Desktop Quickie. Now, we don't have time, so we are going to rush into it. And uh, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we installed our Samba Share add-on properly, and that is in the last Quickie. I will put the link down in the description below, and let's start the installation. First things first, we are going to go straight to the Microsoft Store and uh, look for or Studio Code. Once we found Studio Code, we are going to click on it and we are going to click on Install. It's going to download it rapidly. Experience may vary. And then it's going to install. Now, it takes a minute to install. A few moments later. The installation is complete. And we are going to close here. We are going to go and look for it here and have a look. Here it is, Visual Studio Code. We're going to open it. So as you can see, it's already opened here. But if you want to know how to do this, you go to File. And you go Open Folder. And in my case, I went to the Mac drives that we created in the last quickie and H, and then select the folder, and this is what would happen. What's happened here? Well, we've opened it. We can open a file, but uh, as you can see, very little is actually happening, except that it looks like a normal text editor. This is not helping us any. What we're going to do is install a couple of extensions, starting with Home Assistant. And here it is, Home Assistant Config Helper. We are going to click on Install, and it's going to install it relatively quickly. There it is. It's done. We also want all of the icons, so we're going to type MDI, and MDI will show us here the Material Design icon. We will install that as well. And because we are going to be writing in YAML, we're going to go and look for YAML, and we are going to install the YAML language support. Now, that's pretty much all we need. If you really want to, you can go ESP Home. It takes a second, and here is the ESP Home install, installing. Uh, I like to, to have it there as well, simply because it helps me to do things faster than to go through the web interface. All of my tutorials, though, are going to be done on the web interface. What did this do for us? If we go back to the configuration.yaml, oh, look, it is now nice and formatted and with colors for us. That is one of the, of the things it does. There is more than that. And I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. We're going to go into the settings, open settings. We're going to wait for a second because it needs to build it. There it is. We're going to expand extensions and we are going to look for Home Assistant, which for some odd reason still has the test version. First of all, we're going to put HTTP colon wag wag 192.168.0.123 colon 8.123 wag. So what about the long lived access token? Now we will put more long lived access token later on in the tutorials, but this is the first time we are facing this. So I am going to show you how to get one. So obviously I have Home Assistant open. We go to our user and we scroll right to the bottom and right at the bottom, you will see long live access token. We create a token. We are going to call it VS Code for simplicity. And we're going to say, okay, it's going to give us a token. We are going to copy it. You can see at the bottom in the left hand side that it is copied. Close it. We no longer need you. We're going to paste this in here. We're going to close settings. You're going to say to me at this point, but Pascal, we can't see if it's open or not. It's not giving us any errors at this point in time. It should work. Otherwise, it pops up, cannot connect, cannot connect, and it gets really irritating, trust me. We've also got the MDI Explorer. There are some icons, as you can see down here. Oh, in the event that you don't see where I am, I am right over here. And you can see I can't icons, and I can collapse that. 
and so much more, they're all classified. So for example, if you do MDI colon, you should be given the icons. Yes, these are icons. So it will show you information and you can see the icon over here. What it will also do, because we are because we have installed the Home Assistant extension, is that when we start doing custom themes and custom dashboards in YAML, it will also help us a lot with that because it's going to go and fetch the sensor the sensor information for us, and you're going to go and type sensor, and let's try if this will work. Sensor dot. No, it doesn't work. This is all for today's quickie. I'm hoping that uh, you liked it. Please remember to like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.